My name is Jacob Ibrahim, and in July of 2019, I went on a CIS study abroad program to Barcelona, Berlin, and London to study entrepreneurship and emerging economies. I chose to go on this program, to be honest, for the locations. I always wanted to visit Barcelona and Berlin and London, and this program really provided the ability to do that. I also really wanted to acquire those business skills that are so key to running any sort of startup company because I don't study anything related to that, I study music. Um, and I think those skills will definitely come in handy one day whenever I choose to start up my own business or even have to manage finances on behalf of another business. So it was definitely, definitely locations and content. Studying in another country really wasn't as challenging as I thought it would be. I still managed to maintain decent marks whilst being able to immerse myself in all the culture and, and travel that the program really had to offer. CIS Abroad um, and Australia and Barcelona SAE really gave us a quite a comprehensive mix of educational, cultural and recreational programs and advised us on what we could be doing as well. So that was a really great mix of study but also travel and holidaying so it was work hard play hard quite a bit the biggest highlight of that trip would definitely have to have been when we hiked up to montserrat on the first weekend we were in barcelona it was just so breathtaking we were so far inland and we were so high up it was just seeing the vastness of the countryside just outside of barcelona was breathtaking in the monastery and the small little towns there and it was just it, it it's just something unworldly that you can't really obtain in Australia when you're studying in cities like Perth or if you're studying in any populated city really. Um, that and we chose the worst day to do it as well. It was like 38 degrees Celsius and it was a massive trek up this mountain but it was so enjoyable. To another student coming on if you're going to do the same program, I really really highly recommend it but I also really recommend that don't just keep your nose in the books the whole time. Just go abroad. Every, everybody wants you to go abroad. The educational advisors and the program coordinators, they want you to travel and experience things. There's not such a great emphasis on marks especially, but go and ha partake in those experiences which you will never get to again, or you won't for the foreseeable future as a, as a student, really. Um, it's a great way to learn about the world and learn about different cultures and people, and I really think you should definitely take that chance while you have it because it gives you just such an edge and such perspective when you come back to Australia. To be completely honest, I think, and this applies to pretty much any study abroad you do, um, but it's a complete exercise of independence. Like CIS Australia provided a lot of information of where to be and when to be there and an itinerary, a rough itinerary of business visits and education and classes and recommended activities that we do. Um, but in terms of that sort of stuff, a lot of what's on the program is up to you. So you can really choose how much you get to immerse yourself in experiences and you can sort of say, okay, I don't want to go to museums or I want to go somewhere else. But CIS basically provides, or our, my organizers and coordinators from Barcelona SAE and CIS Australia both sort of collaborate to display all the options and all the things you could possibly choose from before you go abroad so that you can sort of have a rough guide of what you actually want to do then actually do that which is really great all in all it was a completely amazing experience and i'm really really glad that i went with cis australia because they helped organize so many things for me and helped assist me in so many ways and reassured me that they'd always be there to contact if anything went wrong that and the educational experience was actually really, really helpful i now know a lot about business startups and emerging economies which I never knew previously and I'm really quite grateful for.